all California national forests are closing. Stay tuned and we're gonna give you all the details and what's going on. We are Charity, Ben, Dakota, and Trinity. We decided we didn't want to wait for a life of adventure. So in 2017, we bought our first RV and set off to live a life of travel in the USA. We've visited over 38 states in three years and have many more to go. Follow along to learn all the best places to see, RV and travel tips, and much more. Just in time for Labor Day weekend, the U.S. Forest Service is closing every national forest in California due to extraordinary risk of wildfires. Couple that with forecasts that show the wildfire threats only going to remain high or even get worse. The closures started Tuesday night, August 31st, and are scheduled to run through September 17th. The press release from the U.S. Forest Service states that although the potential for large fires and risk to life and property is not new, what is different is that they are facing record level fuel and fire conditions, fire behavior that's beyond the norm of their experience and models such as large quick runs in the night, significantly limited initial attack resources, suppression resources, and their incident command teams to combat new fire starts in new large fires and no predicted weather relief for an extended period of time into the late fall. Note the closures don't apply to the Humboldt Toyobe National Forest, which the majority is in the state of Nevada and not the state of California. We'll have a link below for the press release from the Forest Service with further details if you want more information. Now, national parks are not being impacted by these closures at the time of this recording. However, it should be noted that with the increase in visitors in the past year, many of the more popular national parks have gone to a reservation system to be able to get into the park. If you have plans to visit a national park this Labor Day weekend, double check recreation.gov to see if you need a reservation to get in. The current parks requiring reservations as of this time are Yosemite, Glacier, Acadia, Rocky Mountain, and Haleakala, which is in Hawaii. While super popular parks like Yellowstone and Grand Canyon don't have a reservation system yet, that could always change. So make sure to check the recreation.gov website or follow the National Park Service on social media. If you're thinking about a national park or a national forest camping trip this fall, it is always best to book early because campsites at these popular locations book up fast and you can book up to six months in advance at recreation.gov. So here's an insider tip. Set a reminder on your calendar for six months and one week in advance of when you want to book. Then book the site, not only for the days you want to stay, but also for the one week prior to when you really want to stay. Then after a month or so, you can change your reservation to the dates you actually want. It will release those dates for someone else. This is the best way to make sure you get the dates and the site you want. Since you can book up to two weeks per campsite, this means you have the best chance to stay where you want and when you want. Another tip, if you have kids or grandkids and are visiting a national park or any of our national lands, such as seashores or lakes, that have a visitor center, be sure to ask about the Junior Ranger Program. The Junior Ranger Program is a great and free way for kids and their grownups to be able to learn more about our national lands. And the kids get a fun badge after completing their activity books. You'll have to let us know what your experience has been with our national parks and national forests this summer, or if you have plans that are impacted by these closures, let us know in the comments below. We always love to hear what's going on in your world and as you're out and about camping and enjoying the great outdoors. If you found this video helpful in any way, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We always have fun and helpful videos that we bring to you week in and week out so you can make sure you don't miss a single episode. If you'd like to see more videos that we've got geared towards newer RVers, you can check those out right over here. And if you would like to see some tips for RV renovation or just curious about renovation process, you can check those out right over here. If we don't see you on the road, we'll see you in the next video.